Hi, I'm Lucy and this is my assistance dog Molly. This week is International Assistance Dog Week and we'll be sharing parts of our lives with you to raise awareness of assistance dogs, what they are and how they transform lives. We hope you will enjoy our videos this week and keep up to date. Thank you. What is an assistance dog? An assistance dog is a dog trained to do tasks to mitigate their owner's disability. These include guide dogs, hearing dogs, disability assistance dogs, seizure alert dogs, medical alert assistance dogs, autism assistance dogs and psychiatric assistance dogs. Assistance dogs are trained to a very high standard to ensure that they will behave appropriately and work safely in public areas. They will do at least three tasks to help mitigate their owner's disability and respond to a repertoire of commands. They will do basic obedience, more advanced obedience, public access as well as task training to make sure they're a well-rounded, reliable, happy and confident working dog. I'm Lucy Watts MBE and I have an assistance dog called Molly. Molly is a four-year-old working Cocker Spaniel whom I've had since she was eight weeks old. Molly is what is known as a disability assistance dog, that is she does tasks to help mitigate my physical disability. She was trained with help from a charity called Dog Assistance in Disability or Dog Aid who support people to train their pet dogs to become assistance dogs. Molly's tasks include picking up dropped items, undressing me, loading and unloading the washing machine, fetching help in an emergency and many, many more. Unlike many assistance dogs, such as guide dogs and canine partners, Molly was not bred or bought to be an assistance dog. We got her when she was eight weeks old as a family pet, a companion for me. But when Molly was about eight months old, we found out about a charity, Dog Aid, that trained pet dogs to become assistance dogs. They support owners to train the dog themselves. We applied and Molly was assessed to make sure she was suitable and we were accepted onto the Dog Aid scheme when Molly was 10 months old and started training. It took us almost three years between Molly's acceptance onto the scheme and her qualification as an assistance dog, but we had 18 months off in that time where I was too poorly to train her. We qualified on the 6th of September 2016. What a day that was. Molly has truly changed my life. It's not just the physical assistance tasks that make her so special, but the love and companionship she provides, as well as the positive focus she is in my life. Molly makes my disability something positive. When I drop things, as I do often, instead of apologising to a person, Molly's there in an instant, tail wagging, excited to help. To Molly, it's all one big fun game. Because it's such a fun game to Molly, in effect, the more times I drop something, the better. In addition to the physical tasks Molly does for me, Molly also taught herself a life-saving task. Molly will alert me three to four hours before an impending temperature spike, which signifies I either have sepsis or I'm very close to developing it as I do not, do not get early warning signs. Molly alerts by licking my hands and arms almost in a trance. I cannot take my hands and arms away because she will follow and do anything to get to them. She will then go to my mum and my nurse and keep fussing and running between them and my bedroom as if trying to encourage them to come in. This has undoubtedly saved my life many times. It enables us to get help or to get to my specialist hospital for treatment. Molly is not trained to do this and it's not formally recognised as part of her assistance dog qualification, but it's a life-saving, life-changing task nonetheless. When we brought Molly home as an eight-week-old puppy in March 2013, I had been bed-bound for almost five years. I had no life and no positive focus. When we got Molly, I began forcing myself to sit up every day, determined not to miss out on her puppyhood. I was taking her for a walk every day, doing training with her, and we went to weekly training classes. Suddenly, I had a life again and a positive focus. People who were usually too scared to talk to me because I'm in a wheelchair were now striking up conversations with me. I gained in confidence because I was getting social interaction and I had the confidence to speak to these people and to have these conversations, all because of Molly. 
Thanks to the confidence Molly gave me, when an opportunity arose for me to speak at the House of Commons, I jumped at the chance. That has led to many more opportunities, such as working with charities, giving speeches, writing pieces, appearing in the media, and much, much more. For my work, I received an MBE in the 2016 New Year's Honours at the age of 22 for services to young people with disabilities. If it wasn't for Molly, I wouldn't be doing this charity work, I wouldn't have the life I have, and I certainly wouldn't have an MBE. I owe Molly so much. Molly has got me through some of the worst times of my life, with my own health, but also when my mum was diagnosed with a brain tumour and would go on to suffer a stroke after the operation. Molly gave me a reason to keep going. Her training was a positive focus and Molly needed me so I couldn't give up. If it wasn't for Molly, I wouldn't be here today. As you can see, Molly is more than just a dog. She's more than just an assistance dog. She's my reason to be. As we've mentioned, this week is International Assistance Dog Week. Molly and I are sharing our story and parts of our lives to raise awareness of assistance dogs and how they transform lives. We hope you will share our story and help us to spread the word. You can keep up to date with Molly and I on Molly's blog on Facebook, Molly Dog with a Blog, on YouTube, also Molly Dog with a Blog, and on our website, www lucyandmolly.co.uk. We hope you will follow us long after this weekend. Thank you.